This is wild. No friends on the internet, y'all. Surprised I even found one in Kim. No friends on the internet.
Hey, everybody, again, hopefully the permissions got situated. Somebody was throwing me out. Um, I, can, I can't even, like, speak to anybody. Um, sorry, guys, I wish this was, like, normal where you could talk to me but then other people always gotta ruin shit you know what i mean there's always the couple that you know do stupid stuff like that um let me think for a minute what i want to tell you guys um i mean i hope everybody has you know a good halloween whether you are going taking your kids or you know going out yourself and just having a couple of drinks and chilling and Hanging with your friends. I hope everybody, you know, has a good Halloween and is safe and, you know, everything too. So, you know, hug your kids tight because if somebody would have told me 10 years ago that this would be me today, I would have laughed in their face and bet them a million dollars that this would never that this would never have happened so yeah so just um everybody be safe and make sure the kiddos are safe and you know be careful driving and we all know the little ones like to run in the road sometimes be careful around trick-or-treating time um I don't know where Kimmy is. I don't know what the plan is for this. I don't even know if I'm in the right place. I think I am. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm getting a little mm, too. So let me see what if we're all in the right place. Okay, uh, yeah, we are in the right place, so good to know. Sorry. Um, she said she's trying to get everybody from down in the general, whatever that means. I guess they're down there. I don't forget. Um, I, um, I think Kim's going to ask a couple questions that people wanted to ask um, because I really, you know, anything I really share on here, you know, it's always It is getting windy. Okay, I got it. I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry. Make sure I can hear. Um, you have a couple people that want to ask questions. Hold on, I can't hear you. Straight up, if you guys are going to be fucking rude, you're just going to get I hear. knocked back down. Hold like, up. please just don't be rude. Come on, like, we're all adults. Okay. 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 So we're going to start with Emo Butterfly first. Request to speak. Go ahead. Okay. I don't fucking know, man. I'm gonna go. I'm I'm literally gonna go crazy.
What Wait, is so it? I'll just ask you questions because I really I'm, don't know. I'm obviously doing something wrong here. I, I cannot hear. I see that you're like talking, but I can't. <laughs> God. Server I... mute, server deafen, mute, leave the stage. No. Oh, Fuck the server deafen me. What the... Dude, the last time I. I think it was here. I hearing better the last time, and I don't know what I did. Something's going on that I can't hear you. Wait, voice settings. Uh, volume, soundboard, crisp. <laughs> I, can... I don't know. I don't know, man. It's not it. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm still here, I guess. Let me try. Oh my god, where is the speaker? I'm getting so annoyed. People are saying they can hear us, but I cannot hear you. I I'm not sure what the... I did. Discord, microphone. No, we can't hear each other. That's what's going on here. I'm clicking. I'm going to fix it. Because the last time I fixed it, so I'm going to... Sorry, you guys. I... She's trying to fix it. I know. I, I already left and came out once. I, I, I clicked something the last time that said... Where did I find that? Maybe right here? You, can, you still can't hear me? It said speaker. Mm. Mm. Okay, wait. Server deafen. I know you have to hold down your picture, Lisa, like your icon. <laughs> Server definitely needs to be off. Swipe up. Okay, swipe up. Oh! Change audio. Less. Okay, hold my picture, she said. Okay. Lisa! Um, Lisa! Can you hear me? Move to... No, it says move to general. I don't want to move to the general. Oh, my God. Copy. <laughs> no, me. Whatever I had before that I there. wait you got voice it. settings. Hold on. Swipe up. Since the settings needed to be changed, I don't talk him to say how to fix it out loud because I can type it to you. Okay. okay. Hopefully she heard me. I can um, hear. No one can hmm. hear me. Volume. Swipe up. Okay. Okay, let me get back. Am I in here? Okay, swipe up. All right. Output. All right. I did. Input speaker. Change audio output to speaker. Okay, where did I find that? Can no one hear me? Stage no. Lisa, click your uh, click the microphone button on the bottom second button in up to the left. I gotta call her. I'm gonna just call her.
Um, bam, here I am, and I should be able to hear you now. Okay, you got I, it? Yep, I can hear you. All right, there we go. How many well, people does it take to figure out how to use speaker on Discord? I, this is my first iPhone. I've never had an iPhone, <laughs> and I don't know how to use this dang Forever. thing. Okay. Sorry. That's mad long. Okay. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. We got it. Um, yep. I was asking you questions, but does anybody else want to ask questions? Because, yeah, I guess we'll let this person talk. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Hey, can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Just curious and no disrespect intended, why you feel it's so necessary to share your addiction and potentially recovery with the entire internet instead of just shutting it down, taking a step back and focusing on yourself? Um, that's actually a pretty good question. Um, Am I allowed to chime in too? No, yeah. this is for her, Lisa. Um, that's a good question because there's pros and cons to both of that, you know, um, I feel it's past the point of just shutting it down and disappearing because then people go wild and, you know, say something happened and start doing crazy things that shouldn't be done. And, um, so I try, you know, and there's people that, you know, I believe do act are interested and do care because they, you know, have been watching and, you know, and yeah, the plus side, yes, would absolutely be like you said, to shut it down and disappear. It sounds easy, but I promise it's not that easy. My dad says it is, it is easy, Lisa. Like you do not owe any of us any explanation. You owe yourself and your children an explanation we're just you are a soap opera drama that's it to everybody your entertainment and it's really really sad and heartbreaking that all of us sit back and watch you spiral out of control now kim is going down with you both her and her boyfriend you guys are co-dependent on one another and it's really sad this is not entertainment lisa it's your I life you're uh, yeah. losing every day another opportunity to get clean and sober for yourself and your children. Yeah. Who cares what we think? You do not owe any of us an explanation. Shut the shit down and go get help for yourself before it's too late, Lisa. There's no coming back from that. I know. That's all. I'm just saying, shut the shit down. Excuse my French, guys. I'm sorry. But shut it down. This is a, not a game anymore. No, it, and no, I feel it, like it's you're using it as entertainment. And I, as a person in recovery, I don't think this is funny anymore. It's not never been funny. It's sickening to watch you spiral out of control. Yes, ma'am. It really yes. is. And now people are going after your mom and dad's home. Yes, it just you got to shut it down and okay. take. Thank responsibility you and accountability for um, your well what happened I she just, was like i just said thank you for your opinion and we appreciate her coming up i mean okay first off she has every right to say what she wants to say but if you don't come live or go live people are sitting there like oh where's lisa what's she doing oh she's doing like uh, like literally you can go, not go live for five hours and they want to know where you are. You can be on live and then they don't want you live. It's a, just like uh, you can't win either way. And it's not up to anybody else or their opinions on whether you go live. And people want to see you go through your addiction story and they want to see you succeed and they want to see you get over this hump not everybody is just here to watch the shit show so no but she's right i mean you see behind the scenes and you know a lot are but you do see what happens also when i'm not live or don't go 
you know, for a couple days because I need a break from a what lot. What are they doing when you don't go live for a couple days? What is it? What? I said, what are they doing when you don't go live for a couple days? What do they do? Uh, call the police a hundred times. Um, post some Reddit. Like, yeah, call family. Or, I, I mean, it's 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 kind of wild, but um, I mean that's only certain people, okay? And but here's the thing too: I do feel like the people that have helped me or do help me, okay, I do owe them an explanation to what is going on, right? That's how I feel deep down, you know, and what's left of me as a person. I mean, I mean, I would love to see you come. I mean, I've watched you for mad long. There were times where you would block me in the beginning when I would ask, like, telling you straight up, like, I can't find your cash app. And then you would be like, block this bitch. And then I would have to make a whole other and still kept trying to get in contact with you. But I want to see you succeed. I want to see you get healthy. I want to see you live a happy life with Jace and do all this. So if that's what you want to do is share it with the internet. Don't let someone come up here and be like, shut this shit down. Like, this shit has been going on for a while and they might be new. But that's not, like, that's just their opinion. I don't know. And she's, yeah, she's entitled to it. And like I said, my dad has the exact same opinion as her, 100%. I hear that 100 times a day um, and have been hearing it from him. But what you said, though, Ken, like, you, like, brought me to tears that time that you sent me the screenshot that you, the first message that you ever sent me that I didn't even see and wouldn't have seen, you know, because I get so many slams, you know, um, where you literally, it said something about, you know, there are people out there that you can trust, you know, everybody's not a bad person and I'm going to go to any length I can to like show you that or something like is what you wrote. I'm paraphrasing, but it was almost like that, you know? And I was like, wow, like it was just crazy to me. Like I, I did, I wouldn't have still seen it. He was like, you never saw this look. And I'm like, no, I didn't ever see that. Yeah. Because I did message you a couple times, but we'll let someone else come up. All right, let's do it. And then the next, please. When are you going to stop begging for money? Um, I have we're tired of. Yeah, I haven't asked for anything in the past few Girl, days. you keep throwing up your money apps. You for real. Quit gaslighting us. Stop. I, I haven't asked get for anything. Get rehab money. or get a job. Quit relying on idiots on TikTok to give you money. Grow up. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes, I am. Okay, so my question is, do you, for I'm a recovering addict. I've been clean since 2017. So my question is, the money that you've gotten for, like, Shadow, for your kids, because I sent you money. Do you plan on refunding that or paying it back? I don't Hi, I just want to say I wish you all the best, and that's really just it. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that a lot. I really do. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hope you have a great day. Next. Seriously. <laughs> I hope they're going to talk. Cause... Oh, am I on, guys? Sorry about that. No, yeah. you're good. Hey, uh, see all these softies up here. Um, so, um, I just wanted to say that um, I think Lisa gives drug addicts a bad name. Um, as a former and recovering drug addict myself, not all drug addicts are narcissistic, egomaniacal, uh, 
you know, clown artists who, um, you know, would <laughs> do some of the dirtiest, foulest shit in the world. And I feel like a lot of people just say, it's just the drugs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, and it's not that. It's <laughs> Lisa's a terrible person. She's an awful human being. Um, and Kim, you are you might be worse. You might even be worse, Kim. Um, I mean, you're, you're, and I, I, I want Lisa to get better, but I think you're the, you're actually the dictator behind everything, man. I think you're awful. Yeah. I put a gun to Lisa's head and make her go live all the time. Actually, you didn't know that. No, but I think you're smug and I think you do a lot of slimy shit and I don't think you take any accountability for it. And you talk in your soft little voice behind Lisa. Behind I Lisa, who ability for everything, but thank you for your time. Try and tell uh, me I don't take accountability for anything. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't take accountability for everything. I know. Don't get uh, upset. It's remember, it's opinions from people that have never met us, never probably spoke to us a day in their life. Just you know, I know you're not. You haven't been doing it as long as I have, but just, it's okay, okay? But how can they say I don't take accountability? I don't know. I think that you, no, you, you can tell me lot, if I don't take accountability, let me know. Yeah, you try a lot more to, um, you know, what's the word I should use? Please them, you know, and I'm always actually the one saying like look it's the internet not everybody's gonna like you you know what i mean stop and you can vouch for me on it i mean i but when, I, when I was called out for being basic gamer girl right mm -hmm. i lied about it and then what i can't like eventually i was just like you know what fuck that why am i gonna keep lying first off because it's just never gonna go away i'm gossip thoughts I'm basic gamer girl. I mm -hmm. discord. Like, is that not me taking accountability for who I am? Yeah, and but I don't but, owe them anything. You knew all that way that was, before they just, did. That's what I was just about to say. Nobody knows that I knew that four months before it got exposed, though. Behind the scenes, I already figured that out and knew it before you even knew that I knew it. So, yeah, you know what I mean? But nobody knows that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You know what I mean? There's a lot that doesn't get said on here. Take so. accountability. I've already taken accountability that I give you money and shit. How is that? I How do I not take accountability? I'm going to text you something while I'm listening. It's pretty slow when just takes a second for them to register when I accept it. Unless maybe they have to like press OK after mm -hmm. I accept it. Like, yeah, they might have to. I'm not sure. So I. You're on mute. What okay. Happened? There it goes. Okay. So I just came up because you um you were asking you know how you're not taking accountability and what a lot of people are meaning by that is that you're still helping Lisa and taking accountability would mean that you would have stopped helping her completely oh, because huh oh no I was talking to my dad I'm sorry go ahead well that's what a, a lot of people are saying when you know when you they say you aren't taking accountability. Own up to what you've done, which you've you've said some of the stuff, but stop helping her because once Lisa has no more help, she's gonna you know go to rehab hopefully, or you know she won't be able to survive, you know buying her rugs and stuff. I do respect that, I really do. But if I've been sitting here helping Lisa call detoxes and she didn't go on Monday, I've been helping her three way call programs for the last two days, and I'm saying fucking hour-long phone calls to get her into a program. I don't think anyone even knows that even before I got her the program for Monday, I've been begging her to go every single fucking day since be like, yeah, give her the resources, which she's had resources provided to her by a lot of people, but you can still be her friend without enabling her. 
respectfully just stop with the money app stop helping her um I with have any... stopped the money app I have stopped I haven't been making the cash apps I haven't made a cash app since shut up 8899 Okay. What um so what is your like what is your guys's point of coming on here today? Just to Just ask, like, ask questions. Is it going to change anything that Lisa's going to do? Um well, I don't we, we don't we're not saying anything about changing anything. We're trying to get her into a program right now. We're just trying to give people the opportunity to actually see who we are as people instead of always listening to these fucking crazy stories that you come up with like that we're laundering money or that we fucking steal dead people's identities or that we um make paypals in other people's names or shit like that like we're just we're just trying to like give you guys the chance to ask questions that's really it well one of the things i think about stealing the identity of a dead person is that there's cash apps made in cole's name and cole is no longer here and i'm sorry i didn't really want to bring that up but that's what people are, you know. Yeah. Saying. Well, I think what they're doing is they're they're making them and then they're changing the name after the fact because there's no way that they're putting in that you can put in his information and then it would let a cash app go through. It's not possible. And, and it isn't your I just want to put a note on that real quick that you guys can report it to the police all you want. But thank God for IP addresses, because thank God, thank God they can trace back to where that cash app was made to that IP address, because it's not going to be at my house and it's not going to be at Lisa's. So, I mean, people fail to use common sense that if everything that's set out there was actually being done, even maybe a third of it, dude, I would have been gone a long time ago. Like, seriously, like, it, there's so much heat and publicity from everything that goes on. They wouldn't let me just keep, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's not a thing, man. You know what I mean? So, Lisa, is your um, Chime account still in Cole's name? No, my Chime Are is Are you on gone. that account? No, my Chime is gone. Okay, because when it gets pulled up, you know, I, I got Chime and I pulled it up and it says Cole Harvey on it. To this day, you pulled it up just now. No, I can try today. So yeah. unless it changed it's recently, been gone for a while. That's why she tries to use mine. Okay, well, hopefully you're not letting her use yours. No, nope, because my- I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people that we've been in your shoes, right? No, and my- there's a lot of us that that aren't judging. Like, we're not judging you. We want you to get help. Ultimately, right. we want what's best you know and And we're watching your downfall lisa we're watching you basically unalive yourself and i appreciate that like i said it's very frustrating because i get frustrated with myself and when people message me and they say you know i I don't agree with the things you do but i always say normally back i don't agree with a lot of the things i do so i can respect that you know so So. lisa are you going to the meetings yes i have been yes that's a huge step to, to start going to the meetings, you know, um, my, and, and learning the different steps. I mean, yeah. And my counselor, you know, saw what was kind of going on a little bit and she upped, you know, from once a month to once a week. And, you know, it's. Uh, Shall I we know. recite the serenity prayer right now? Are you down to do that with us? I think the people would do it in chat. It's yeah, very powerful. Yeah, we could do that right now. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. God. God. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, Trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, so that I may be reasonably happy in this life, supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen. Amen. I actually didn't know the whole thing. I only knew the beginning. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I- twice that line, the beginning and the end. So 
I'm getting it. Okay. I might have messed up a few words, but I'm so proud of oh. you. Are you gonna go to rehab today? If if you had a spot open, because I know there's a lot of people I have mentioned, and they even there's a lot of creators that mentioned they'd pay for your rehab if your insurance didn't. <laughs> Are you ready to go today? Like, will you? That's yeah. funny. Well, if your if your sister picks you up, if somebody picks you up, will you go right now? I I would. She just. I would. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep my mouth. Why? What happened? Yeah, I would. Like I, I've had multiple emails, multiple actually. I can pull up where people would be like, "Yeah, it's a full ride. It's paid for." And me and Lisa are making phone calls the last couple of days, and right? Never heard and of saying, them. "Can I have your contact number, please?" They I never... called one place. She gave me her name. I said, "Can I please speak to Sandra?" Blah blah blah. And then that person didn't even work there. <laughs> And then oh, Kim, we're ready to call these creators out to help. Lisa needs to go into rehab now with the first 28 days and get started. And all the creators that said they would help, we'll have them make the payments directly to the rehab. Hmm. If Lisa is ready to go now. Put that pressure on, on these creators, but I have received a bunch of emails actually twice. I'm going to actually call them out. Honestly, one was for, Never mind. I'm not. I'm not going to call them out because I have to switch screens. There was two rehabs, right? One we called. I keep one... hearing Tech has a bed. Every time I see Tech and a subject come up, she says there's a bed. Okay. Well, we called so... one, right? And this place called Ronnie. This uh -huh. place made it's Ronnie. Jesse. They called Jesse. He called. He called, he called Jesse. So Ronnie. will will you reach out to Tech? Because all all it takes is one phone call to Tech. Yeah, I. Yes, I spoke to Tech a little bit after my live that I did that one time. Um, and, and yes, I probably would be a good idea to reach back out. And Villain has even offered to help too. So if you would get off here, call Tech and Villain, I'm sure that you would have a bed available and ready to go now. And it'll change your life. I, I agree. If something needs to change, give. All okay. right, you ladies, have a good day. I'll let somebody else up here. Thank you. Please go back. Thank you. Hey, Amy, you're on mute. I don't think she knows she's up here. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, for one, Kim, all things aside, you need to let Lisa speak. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude or ugly, but you need to let her speak. I mean, if she's going to do something, she's going to do it. It seems like you are holding her back from everything because <sighs> you've got your nose in it where it don't belong. Well, no, no. I think she just is trying to like, because everybody says like, I don't tell the truth. So I think she's kind of trying to, because she sees more of what goes on. That's, no, you don't tell the truth, and I you've agree. plainly admitted that, but right. Kim needs to mind her business and let people help you that want to be truthfully helpful. Are you I mean, every time that lady spoke, Kim had something to say, oh, well, I'm not. Hello, Lisa. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm listening. I'm here. I'm sorry. Hi. I just had like literally one question and yes, it's not rude or anything. Um, what exactly are you going to rehab for if you are clean and you only have the methadone and the clonopin? You have to. I don't know how. What are you going to rehab for? Crack cocaine. OK, well, thank you for saying that. Um, you're welcome. I, I've said it before. I, 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 I didn't know that it was. I, I keep forgetting there's newer people. But yes, ma'am, that would be that. Okay. Well, I really hope you do. Thank you so much. Thank you.
And you see her in the back of my life. I gotta get my charger in the back of my mind. I'm not muted. Oh no, that's not good. They just all heard me singing like a clown. That's embarrassing. Sorry, guys. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just waiting for the next person to come up. Okay, I was making sure you weren't, you know, crying. I said it. I said, call me. Um, no. Okay. Uh, is there a way I'm supposed to be doing this? I I'm not sure. I'm sorry. No, you're good. It, um, It's just taking a minute for people to come up. It's okay. just no. great to me that they don't understand, like, that they actually think that they would have um, this opportunity on hey, TikTok or, or else. Hey, they I have to have hey, hey, I got to tell my mom I'm going to walk up and get a couple smokes and see if she has like a dollar. Give me two seconds. Okay. Mom, mm -hmm. did you look and see if you have a dollar? Do you want any fruities or anything? Fruities. Like a bag of fruities if I have any change. Okay. Thank you. Do you want me... To save a dollar for you? Okay. All right. Did you decide about dinner? I'm just, like so hungry. That will be great. It's up to you though. Just let me know if you need to call me. I'm going to walk up and get a smoke. Thank you. Love you. Fuck, at least I can eat today. I'm fucking stoned. Hey, Lisa. Right, sorry, I'm back. I just wanted to tell my mom I was leaving so she knew I wasn't helping me out. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yes, ma'am. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. I didn't want to interrupt you, Lisa. I've watched you on and off for a while. I, I catch some of your lives on TikTok. Not all of them. I've heard Kim and, and, and no disrespect to either one of you. Lisa, you could have the best comeback story in the world. You really, really could. And I'm rooting right. for you on the back end. The only problem I've got, and I know a lot of people are going to agree with me. That. I really well, I, I think you can do it, Lisa. You can do anything uh -huh. you set your mind to, and and you're you're worth saving. You've just got to recognize that. But Thanks. all the money you got for like shadow and stuff, did you use it on your habit? Because I've been there, done that, and earned the t-shirt. I get it, but I just I, I truthfully want to know. Um. It's we'll cutting behind out. the scenes about that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's probably can you hear me? I can hear you now. Sorry, can my dogs are barking. Hear too. Me? Yeah, I can okay. hear you. My internet. I spoke to a couple people behind the scenes about that. Um, you know, uh, people and, and not to not answer your question, but people can use, you know, can surmise, okay. Um you know, it's. I've honestly, in my you know, I don't know, know people, um, you know, in addiction, I've never seen something get so out of control. I understand. I understand, and I've messaged you on you TikTok before. You know, if ahead, you ever want to talk, no, you're fine. If you ever want to talk, just message me on TikTok. I mean, we're, we're all rooting for you, but please, please, please do your best to, to stop fibbing to people. No, I, I, I know. I, I agree. I agree with you on that. You know, I always say I'm not going to say this or I'm not going to do that again. Or and then, you know, I 
get desperate and get on and do it right again, you know, a little bit later. Um, you know, it's not fair. It's not. I understand that, I mean, that um, that's what addicts do. But, We've all done it. Anybody that's been an addict has told every lie in the book to get what they needed. Oh, no, no. Don't you read the Reddit and the Discord? Everybody I don't. Been, everybody that's been in active addiction, ma'am, held a job through it, got their own money, never lied, never stole, never cheated. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. were just, you know, what, what do they call it? Um, you know, users that can function, I guess. So Right. Well, but not then, everybody's like that, and everybody's story's different, and, and I get it. I just, I want the best for you, Lisa, and, and I look forward to your comeback story. I really do. I, I really hope you think about it long and hard and take it seriously. Because regardless of what people say, regardless of what kids are going to say, and, and the kids are going to cut you the deepest. Trust me, mine have. But it's worth it to get clean and to get better and, and to have the greatest comeback story there is. And I'm rooting for you. Thank you. And everybody always asks me every time I would be ready to go, what's different this time? And my, nobody's asked me this time. But my answer to that would be, okay, I just, like, feel it. I, I can't explain it, but That's I'm true. over it. I'm over it myself. You know what I mean? I don't want to go live. I don't want to get money. I haven't even asked for money in two days, if anybody's noticed at all. Anytime I went live, not asked for a penny. Okay? I'm over it. Okay? I don't even, I'm over it. I can't even explain it. Well, that's where you've got to be. You've got to put your foot down. You've got to do better. You've got to want better. you got to want better for yourself. Well, when it can't be numbed anymore, that's when you know it's time to go get help. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Well, I'm around if you ever want to message me on Tiki Talk, but I, I wish you the best. I honestly do, and, and I look forward to hearing that you've gone, and I look forward to hearing when you come back and how great things are going to be. So hang in there. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, thank you for letting me up. You have a good day. All right, honey. Bye. Hey, Lisa. I'm going to say this as respectfully as I can. Mm -hmm. um, but I am a very blunt person. Um, I'm My a dad. Gen Xer. Okay. My dad's the same. <laughs> okay. I have seen the pictures of you in the past, and you were absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And what you are doing that has people so frustrated is, one, the line about everything. Your parents don't feed you. Well, we just sat here and heard you talking to your mom about dinner. Yeah. You paint your parents to be so terrible. Your dad doesn't want to do this and your parents don't feed you. And you are making them look bad. And I will say this, I know for a fact, 1,000%, as a matter of fact, she said it yesterday, villain has a bed. She has messaged with you. She has talked to you on the phone. She, You guys were just emailing the other day, and she finally said she's tired of chasing you, correct? Yeah, that was a part of the email. Yes. She said she's not you going out chasing Yeah. Correct. You know, and you need to admit, if you are ready to go today, villain, reaper, and tech, all three of them would have a bed for you tonight, transportation taken care of, if you are truly, truly serious about going and getting your life back, getting your kids back, getting that grandbaby back, the things that you deserve. And you say you're ready, you know it's not a matter of, oh, quote, the paperwork this or the paperwork that or the doctor this. You know, because Villain has even put it out as much as yesterday, you know you have people and resources. You have to take the step to reach out. And why will you not do it is my question. Um. I, I don't know. I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Well, my I was my screen's not on the Discord, so I wanted to make sure I was texting. But um, if 
how, how should I say this? Um, maybe it's a control thing about the methadone that I just want to make sure before I go somewhere that it's all handled. I'm not sure, but a lot of the places that people throw out that say beds are open and things, ma'am, they don't do that. You know what I mean? And I know people say just, oh, we'll go and forget about it. You can't. That's not a thing, you know? And I totally understand that. And I also know that Dylan has done that. She she knows she knows your situation. Dylan yeah, first and foremost. So yeah. she's gonna make sure you're taken care of. If you truly are serious, I and I would love for you to get back to where you used to be, truly. Oh, yeah, some sort, any sort. Yes, ma'am. You need to relinquish control. I'm a control freak. I get it. But if you really are serious, you know, instead of saying, well, you're trying this and people are not following through, you know a thousand percent that there are people, and villain is one, that yeah. has your ass covered and will take care of it. And you need to take that step. And again, will you do that? Yes, I I, I will, but I, and I'm ready or I'm very close She's to being ready as long as that place allows her dosing. And that when she leaves, again, her dosing, that's all that matters. If she can dose at this rehab, then yes, she's willing to go. And again, that honestly, Kim, with all due respect, that truly is between her and Villain or her and Reaper. And you, you should know, and, and I'm trying to be respectful to you, Kim, because I do know you are friends with her and you are trying to help her. Trying to but, like make get done you know so i can't put it off you know right but, okay, but, you... but lisa would you go today if they don't dose you no of course not or i would leave because i would be hurting so, so my i'm done there you go that's that answers my question she's not going to go to a program if she doesn't get dosed and you don't believe reaper hat or i'm sorry not reaper uh villains program will dose you I'm not sure. I, honestly, I can't. Can I have three singles, please? Um, or I got three dollars. How much? Many singles can I get for that? Yeah, four. Okay, can I have four singles then, please? Um, Kim, tell the story about the guy that called Jesse and then emailed us and whatever. This got wet on the counter. It got wet on the counter. So this guy sure something's yeah. right there. Just saying. So B blowing up all our phones, actually yeah. trying to get us, get her into a rehab, and then right when we called, they said that it was going to be a thousand one hundred dollars a day, and then they said um, that it's going to be thirty thousand dollars a month, and then they said that her sister was trying to raise money for her to be able to go, and then they said, "Oh, hey, what is your insurance?" So we gave them her insurance information, and then because they wanted to refer us out to a new program, and then. As soon as they gave her her insurance information, because it was a private facility, they were things, and I'll go anywhere though. They have to dose methadone, and they have to either take my insurance or like have a scholarship. And but then that's the kind of calls we get. It makes no sense to me, right? Like called my own sister, like that. You know what I mean? Like it was wild to me. And I, and I can like, understand, yeah. and I can respect that. You also were trying to get money to go on the the Greyhound. And when you know if you're an NA, you could have called your sponsor. You could have called your sister. Your father would have taken you. Was that a ploy? In all honesty. The Greyhound Kim, how, should, how should I even answer that? Because that was that bitch. What should I answer that? I think it's just her time is up. I don't know. It's been more than two minutes. Okay. So my, my, can I ask the question really quick? What, 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 what Was it a ploy for her to get on the bus that night? 
Well, I know for several days it went on. Yes, and that's when you said you, if she didn't get on, you were done. No, I'm asking why a did different situation the rehab I got her into is a car that showed up on Monday. If she did not get in that car, I was going to be done. Oh, my apologies. It wasn't the one with the car. It was the one prior to that when she was trying to get the the lift to the Greyhound station. My apologies. I am so sorry. I have MS, so sometimes I get confused. My apologies, oh. Kim. And then but, yes, I've been boy. Yes. Okay. Th that's it but please please do for yourself and get back to what you had because yes you would have a great comeback story you are were and will be a beautiful person and you deserve to have a life and you deserve to have your family back so thank you thank you you have a great day and got the paperwork do they dose methadone and do they take her insurance these these Okay, I'm just going to put out there real quick. It's going to be like a two-minute limit for everybody. Just so that it's just like it doesn't go on forever. I don't, you know. Okay. No. My cigarette before I hop it back down. Uh, What'd you up to? Go. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, Lisa, I have yeah. a serious question. And could you please be honest? When's the last time you used? Um, not yesterday, the day before. Pardon me? Okay. Is Hold that on, from where? Okay. What's up? Working. Oh, no, no, no. I just came to get a couple of cigarettes. Do I? Oh, boy. Do I look like I'm working? What does that mean? Oh, that was wild. Like, All right, I and if you, go ahead. Sorry. If you, if you plan on not going, if you do or don't go to rehab, do you think if you ever decide to go get a job to support your own habit, if you decide not to go? Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I really think you could possibly work. I mean, your looks have nothing to do with it. Anybody can work. No, I could probably get so. something like behind the scenes. Um, you know, I'm sure find something, uh, it's just, yeah, something's got something got to give, you know what I mean? And I, and like I said, I mean, you watch all my stuff or have it recorded. You can vouch. I haven't yeah. asked for anything past two days i haven't so well, I mean, well i've seen messages where people have posted where you've been asking on the back end meaning you've asked people uh you've messaged people you've got money from before or you emailed them uh their messages well, everywhere i didn't email her it was actually i'm gonna be 100 percent honest it was two people and they text me all the time and she obviously didn't want to say that and I lined up in the Discord with who that was, and I know exactly who that was that put that out there because it yeah. was cool. And I, all I said was that I would like oh. to get some smoke, you know. Right. That's being well, I mean, I, I just want to see you just stop begging. I mean, it, it's got to get old after a while. I would love to see you go to rehab. I really do. I see a lot of my sister in you, and, and I know you can do it. Thank you you just got to want to do it for your children, so, at least. I know I can do it, too. I just I didn't want to do it like I did, but I didn't, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Sure, you know? But and I get it. You're scared. The methadone thing. I, I get that. You've been on it so long coming off of it. It's it's going to be bad. But I mean, yeah. I, I honestly think you could probably get off of that and you'd probably feel a whole lot better. That's one of the plans depending on where i go if they can do that uh i really want to do that and make my dad proud my dad would really like to see me get off of that you know and um, i would like to do that they're not going to take you off of it like suddenly like you're going to go in there and they're just not going to give it to you this is something they're going to you know slowly wean you off of because it could be dangerous they make you quit just suddenly well yeah especially yeah. because i've been so long it's probably like in my it, you know right get her to do was the sublocade shot yeah where, yeah where they um start weaning you off of the methadone and then they start bringing you up on suboxone mm -hmm. and then, so at the you same time it all and then once a month you go and get the sublocade shot yeah and that's what i got clean and that's what like worked for me but when i was last in the hospital 
on a mental hold. I was detoxing really bad, and they kept telling me to get on methadone, get on methadone, and I didn't want to. And so they ended up doing the whole sublocate thing, and it took about, like, seven days maybe to basically oh. dose me oh. down. I mean, they started me on a high dose of suboxone. They started dosing me down, and then they started dosing me up on the – no, I don't know. I got it backwards. They started me on a high dose of methadone, started – down then me suboxone dosing me up and then they gave me the shot right before i left the, the hospital that's what i'm trying to get lisa to do well even if like you get on some right. like transfer over to that there's not as many restrictions as that. like once you get one clean urine you can go like i think get a script for every two weeks or something and then they start a month like it's not like an everyday thing where my dad's stumbling out to the car at 8 a.m because I'm like, you ready? You know what I mean? Yeah. I get up for Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, but the rest of the days, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately, and it sucks. All right. Well, I mean, like I said, we all want to see you do better. But like I said, if, if rehab isn't your thing, at least get a job so you're not on here begging every day. And uh, I would love to see you get clean because the fact that you're doing these deals uh, close to your parents' house is pretty dangerous. Um, not only that, you're costing your parents their home as well. And, I mean, that right there would want you to, to do something, to change something in your life right there. Yeah, I, I mean, shouldn't be outside you on the talk, screaming and yelling and whatever right. I'm doing. I, yeah. I, I agree. Yeah, because like they're on the verge of losing their home now. So then, what are y'all all gonna do? Right. So I mean, think about that though. Think about others other than yourself for once. If you know, not being mean, you know what I mean. I agree with you. I don't think about anybody but myself, and exactly. um, I don't, and I don't know why it's like that. But it's it, that's a hundred percent a fact. A hundred percent a fact. I think it's the drug that you're on. That drug has such a control over you that. That's all you're thinking about. Like, like I do care about like, you know, uh, other people, like, don't get me wrong. Like I really do, but it's always, I need to do what I need to do first and then I'll worry about them or her or my parents later. Right. right. So, but that's being selfish. A hundred and ten percent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. All right. Well, I'm rooting for you. Hopefully you figure it out and do the right thing eventually. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. My phone might die, Kimmy, but I'm almost home. I'm on 16, but I'm like almost home. I had to go get a smoke. No, I know. Um, to mommy of five. It's these, cigarettes, these cigarettes dry out. Because when he gave me, he said four for three dollars. Right? My mom gave me three dollars. So, but when he slid it across the counter, there was like something wet. I don't even know what. And I tried, like, exchanging it, so he gave me a new one plus whatever, like, dot wet on the side. But, like, will it dry? I don't know, like, if I want to keep this one. But beggars be choosers, right? <laughs> I mean, it didn't get drenched. It just got, like, wet on the side a little bit, but still, I mean. Try out if you take your lighter to it and just kind of slightly put it, like, towards, like, like, roll the cigarette over the lighter. I don't know how to explain it. Hold it over well, the Well, I don't lighter. need it right this second. I was just asking if I should even, like... It should, uh... Dry. Yeah, okay. I was just asking. I don't know. I've never had that happen. You and Kim, we Thanks. hear a lot about you guys being friends outside of TikTok. And so I guess because from my opinion, it looks like... And I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings because I definitely don't want to get kicked out of here. But from my opinion, it just looks like you guys use each other. So can you tell us and, uh, well, me and I guess everybody else here, if you're comfortable, like what else it is that you guys actually have in common and like maybe how the friendship started so that we can maybe, you know, understand a little bit more about your guys' friendship versus what um, it looks like online. Yeah. I mean, I know how it started was she sent me $20 on Cash App. It wasn't going to me at the time because, you know, I haven't been able to make Cash Apps in a very long time. Um, and 
the person had taken the money. So I called her and I'm like, yo, like, you got a screenshot of this, like, this mother effort, you know. That's how we started talking, was I got money taken. Um, and how, I don't know, Kim, what are you saying? Um... Oh, wait, did you finish telling the story, or? Yeah, I mean, that's, that was the story. I mean, I'm not going to say who it was that was taking it, but. I think we have a lot in common. I think we can relate in more ways than one. I mean, I agree. You had an ex that overdosed. I have mm-hmm. an ex that overdosed. It's not my sister's brother. It's not my brother-in-law. It's someone completely different from right. Predator just didn't get the story straight. Um, we both have sisters that are literally like out to get us, I guess. Um, so would it be a fair assumption to say that you guys uh, trauma bonded then? Since you both have like these unresolved these unresolved, you know, issues with your family and lost loved ones and things like that. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I I was just curious. I I mean, I signed over temporary custody of my son when he was like two, because my mom was able to give him a better life than I was able to give him. mm -hmm. And Lisa just recently lost her son to DCF. So that was something else that we could relate on. Um, I don't know. There's a bunch of shit. We just get along. We just vibe. You know? no, absolutely. Um, I was just, you know, curious. We, we see a lot of you guys talking about um, you guys are friends outside of the, the TikTok and Oh, I said the TikTok. I'm so old. Um, outside of TikTok, but I, I guess I was just curious because um, I I don't know a lot about you, Kim and Lisa. I'm I've only been watching you since August. Um, and I mean, it was hard and fast. Uh, I caught you I right as um, you had that last. I it was before the 302. I think um, it was long before the 302. But you were just you were going so downhill so fast. Um, Mm -hmm. so I guess, you know, I, um, I really do hope Lisa that you are able to put all of it behind you and focus on being sober. And I hope that you and Kim, um, are able to remain friends as you go through your sobriety. Um, you know, that's pretty much all I have to say at this point. But I, I thank you guys for letting me up. And um, thank you. There's a lot of people here ready to talk shit. So I hope you, uh, yeah, your, your heartstrings pulled up because it's yeah. not going to be nice. I'm sure. Lisa, what do you think that we uh, relate with, or that what? Why do you think we get along so good, or why we're friends off of TikTok? I just um with you. I just think that for some reason, um, somebody hit it. I forget where I read it, but somebody said that they think I have antisocial personality disorder. And I agree. I don't like to be around people. I don't like to go out. I despise it, to be honest. Um, For whatever reason, I've always been like that. And I don't like many people at all. I don't. I don't. And for some reason, I don't know, I just kind of took to you. um, And we get we get along and like, I guess friends behind the scenes means, I mean, you know, I literally wake up, go to smoke, call you when we're literally on the phone all day until right when we go to sleep. So yeah. for how many months now? <laughs> like since what, May? Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean. Okay. Um, well, thank you for asking, Queen Bee. Next. And- and you, and also, I want to add, you help me, and you care about me. Like, honestly, like, when anything happens, like, the first thing I think is, like, oh, I'm going to call Ken, if we're not already on the phone, right? Because I feel like you care, like, genuinely. So, yeah. I do. I do. 
Go ahead, John. Okay. Um, hi, guys. So um, thank you for letting me come up and speak. I am kind of someone who thinks outside the box, so I'm probably going to go. I'm sure I'll probably get a shit storm of hate for this. But um, so just to kind of give you a backstory, I don't know if I would call myself a recovering addict. But let me tell you, back in my day, I did some fucked up shit. Same as I'm sure a lot of other addicts have done. But of my... Course path to recovery was a little bit different basically what happened was my mom passed away and one day i said you know what this isn't fucking worth it like i'm done i'm done like no i lost my mom i had already lost my dad like so my guess my question lisa is besides the whole rehab thing and i because i didn't go to rehab i don't know how it works i don't know a thing about it um my mom tried to get me into alcohol anonymous aa before but it just wasn't my thing so I guess my question is what I've learned about myself is that my issue was more of a mental health issue rather than the physical addiction to the drugs. It was a mental escape from me from PTSD, fucked up shit. Now the drugs cause more fucked up shit to happen. But, yes, <laughs> but I'm with you. you know, I'm you, nodding my head. Yeah. Now. Yeah. So I guess my question is, while we're waiting for the rehab, while we're waiting for all these things to take place, have you considered looking into therapy, meeting with a psychiatrist, getting that mental help to help you kind of avoid and figure out what your issues may be, why you keep going towards the drugs? Yes. I mean, where I think my old clinic, I, I didn't get say all think i'm lying but i'm not um i even though i was clean this is before this all spun um i didn't get take homes for a very long time because they said that my clonopin was prescribed by my pcp and not a psychiatrist i had to get a psychiatrist and yeah. for some reason all the psychiatrists were since that took state insurance are you know backed up waiting list waiting list you know so mm -hmm. um now, am I pushing it as hard as I could have? Absolutely not. I'm not even going to try to act like I was. But just, you know, the calls that I would sit there and make, you know, um, to these places, they were all just like, you'd have to pay a bunch of money to do, yeah. to go, or you're on a waiting list for a very long time. So I'm right yeah. in the city literally like right by the stadium like i'm right by downtown right by the stadium you know like i'm in the city as far as you can get in the city you know what i mean so listen my um and you you don't have to do this but my son works in the mental health field and i'm very familiar with it i'm in pennsylvania you can um there is a ton of providers and i know they all we are so short in the pen in the state of pennsylvania i think there's like one doctor per like 20 patients or something it's just we're really outnumbered but um they have as long as you're in the state and that doctor is in the state they do not have to be local you can go my therapist is located like two hours away from me and i just do virtual meetings with her um and a lot of times if you call, like I can tell you, uh, if you check into Geisinger, I don't know if you have it in Pittsburgh, I'm near like Wilkes-Barre Scranton, um, so like five hours away from you. But if yeah. you check into Geisinger, um, if you just, if you call them, they will get you in with someone sooner than, you know, months and months and months. Like my PCP referred me and it took a year till they called me, but then... I stopped going and then I ended up going back and I called myself and they got me in within a month. So check, definitely check that out. Um, you know, I really think you've got a lot of work to do, but little steps at a time, you know, you definitely have to prove it. And the only other thing is, you know, I know you said you haven't asked for two days, but you know, please keep that up. Yeah, no, please I am. Keep it up. I, I'm keeping it up. I'm gonna, I just got a couple cigarettes, not uh, what I get for plus the wet one. And, uh, my mom said, we're probably going to order something. So I'll, I'm gonna be all right. And that's just keep that in mind again. You know, I know you, you, you said it before and you hit the nail on the head where you said, you know, I think about myself, you know, mm -hmm. keep in mind the way that others are being affected by your actions, you know, and, yeah. and and count your blessings. I know you've hit pretty low, 
but you still have your parents. You still have a roof over it your head, you level, know? Yeah. Yeah. Cause every yeah, time I thought still have how a lot. worse can it get, it got worse. So it can always get worse. Absolutely. It can. Uh, yes, it can. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, if you need any help with, you know, getting into any type of therapy or anything, um, you can hit me up on here um, or Kim can, you know, hit me up. I will be happy to help you. No, I appreciate that. I'm going to follow you. And um, since you're in PA and, you know, I don't like yeah. dealing with people that aren't in PA and don't understand sometimes how things are here, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So I would appreciate it if I do. I would. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you guys. And you both have a great rest of your day. You too. Be safe. Thanks. Is so hot. Is anyone ready to go oh, next? Or I can. I was waiting to be called on. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. Okay, so I have questions for both Lisa and Kim, and I'm being as respectful as possible. So if you guys are friends and you guys have talked every day, why were those calls released? And why were personal things of Lisa released of her getting extremely hurt released to hundreds of people that then went viral on TikTok? Was she aware of the videos beforehand, or did she approve of those, those clips being released prior to you doing it it would I just help to understand that a little bit more i didn't know they were coming out she can explain more but i saw them as you guys I actually seen them the next day to be honest but go ahead kimmy no worries um it's because she was on live that day trying to extort me and blackmail me so I just decided to release calls. Was that's it? fair. Yeah, no, that's totally fair. And I mean, spur of the moment, you were upset your friend was acting out totally. Um, but with that as well, I'm, I'm just trying to understand how come you spent all of this money sending it to her for what you know is her choice. and you like how come you never went to go do an in-person intervention why didn't you show up on monday to do an in-person intervention with her make sure she got in the car if she's been ready for days and she's been clean for days how come how come you couldn't be there to give an in-person support even though you guys were friends over tiktok i mean i can go do in-person support but i can't make lisa a 40 year old adult get into a car unless she wants to I can only help her. I can only set shit up for her. Yeah, you can't yeah. physically get me in the car. I'm probably your size. Anything she doesn't want to do. It's I, I've done it before, like to where people have tried to make me like get clean or lock me in a house and it just doesn't work that way. It's just starts off as like bad I don't know. It's just the way that people go about it. I could have showed up and, and made her get in the car. And then she would have just been done left the day after she got there. She had to want to get into that car. She has to want it. I can't make her want it. But That's I can't, fair. I can't help her find places to go. I can't help her show her that there are beds open that accept her insurance. I can help her make calls. And for a while there she was trying to make it seem like i was stealing money from her all the time when i don't profit not even a dollar from her i send her every little cent that she makes down to the penny and then some so if people want to sit here and say like oh i profit off of her except for i have thousands of dollars coming out of my own bank account supporting her and don't get me wrong I willingly have sent her money. I have from the jump. 
that's not why I'm her friend. That's not why she's my friend. I don't think. No, but- I mean, you don't make money off me. And, um, you know, we do always get it sorted. But every time I say about the money, they always just assume it's you, even if I don't say it. And there were a couple of times that it needed to get sorted. It did get sorted the next day, but right. Yeah, but it was like a day late, a dollar short almost, you know? Right, right. So I would automatically assume it was me stealing it or assume that it was me emailing people for money or assume this, that, and the third when I have my own money. Like, I don't need anyone else's money. Well, here, here, I'm going to tell this, okay? And people can believe it, not believe it. There's almost 400 people in here, okay? So about two weeks ago, People were messaging me, just a couple here and there, asking me, can people do it all the time randomly? Can they buy a page? All right. If I get desperate enough, sometimes I'll do it, sometimes I won't, depending on what's going on, right? So this one girl, you know, messaged and she said it. And it was like late at night, 12, 1 a.m. I said, Well, yeah. She's like, How much? I'm like, $40. I said, You know, 20 up front. So I know you're not going to get in the account and take off. And you know I'm not going to get the money and take off, right? That's just how it goes. So she sends the 20 to PayPal. And then she assumes, I guess, she was getting my main account that I used, the Lisa Booney's help. And I said, oh, no, no, no. You can pick any other one you want, but you ain't getting that one, right? So she wasn't budging or whatever. So I said to Kim, fuck her. Like everybody else, I've always given them the pages, just like that lady Chrissy. But if she wants the main one and won't take another one, fuck her. Like, I don't even know what else to do at this point. So I just went on about whatever. Apparently, um, later on, she must have got a hold of Kimmy and Kimmy felt bad and gave her one of my pages, right? And I didn't, wouldn't have even known because I have pages that I can't get into. That ever since my phone got stolen by that chick, you know, I need a code from that number. I can't get into this or that email or whatever, right? So there's pages that are sitting that nobody's in, right? I wouldn't have even known. But this chick was in lives talking to people as me. She was um, messaging people from that page, acting like she was me. Made a cash app in my name, collecting money from people as me, okay? And I'm going to tell you how I found all this out. I thought that Kim was on the page and just changed the password because of me and her, all the bickering that went on with the calls and all that, right? So I messaged the page the one night and I said, I know this is you in there, yo. Give me my page back. So this chick takes it upon herself to message me from my own page and say that, no, that Kim gave her that page. And if I do anything to announce that I'm no longer on that page or, and I have proof of all this, this was in writing, okay? And I don't let her get to 5K followers so she can do TikTok shop or some shit that she's gonna um, go to the police and, and, now, and, and make up that I stole from her or did something. I don't know, forget what she said. But so I, I go to Kim, Kim admits that she did it, whatever. So, um. But the girl collected money, at least $50 that I know of, from four different people saying she was me, okay? Um, And the messages that I seen were just absolutely wild. But the thing is, if I, if she wouldn't have been doing all of that, right, for it to be brought to my attention, I wouldn't have even known. I'd have thought that account was sitting there and I couldn't get in it. So I don't know how many other people, because there's so many fake accounts out there that are made that, you know, message people and, I don't know, Kim, you want to chime in on that? They always just message people and just assume that it's either Lisa or I, I don't know. Just like the Surviving Life 6-6, six, six, um, Surviving Life page, my old Sizzler page that was sold. Mm-hmm. 
was messaging people as if she was Lisa, and she wasn't. But what what what's this story have to do with? I'm confused on um the point we were getting to. Just because there's people that say they sent and they did this and oh, that and. Okay, okay, yeah. I was and there's really confused, like on the point that we were getting to. I don't know. I... Yeah, there's people that legitimately sent, but. I, I or even seen the money basically like you didn't even know that anyone sent this money because she was acting like you dude when I showed them messages was it last night or this morning it was this morning you were blown away tell me you weren't no I was for sure because I don't know I don't the thing that I don't understand is that Lisa might go through a lot of TikTok pages but she's very consistent when she goes live and says, hey, this is my PayPal, this is my Cash App, this is my Chime. Whatever she's using that day is where people should send. If she's not using it that day, don't send to it. Then you won't get scammed. Or you won't feel like you got scammed. Or you won't feel like you sent it to the wrong person. But I also want to add in there, that people willingly send Lisa money. There are notes, which I would love to expose. I would love to expose everybody who has donated to Lisa just to show you the notes that in the comments that come with it. Like, hey, I've been where you are. I know what it's like. Blah, blah, blah. Here's $10. Please just use us sparingly or something for like like that, you know. Well, we're not going to. We're not going to yeah. expose anything. I want to expose them. Lisa doesn't. I want to. No, we, we we're not because they were trying to help regardless of whatever you know they thought or didn't think. Right? They were just yeah, I know, but people thinking think of helping. I understand that Lisa goes online and says, like, hey, I need help with this or need help with this or blah, blah, blah. But, like, okay, people send thinking that she wants food and cigarettes. But even in the notes, they know what it's for. They, if you read half the shit that people write when they send something, because you can write, like, a little comment, whether it be on Cash App, PayPal, um, Chime, they write, like, Hey, I don't, I don't know. I can't really give you examples of what they write, but they know where the money is going. And the people that donate, honestly, don't even write it in the chat because they're so scared to write in the chat that they sent ten dollars because and then they would get bombarded by people and harassed, saying, "Why are you sending her money? You're a piece of shit. You want to kill her." Blah blah. Very. Blah. Very rarely does anybody who actually sent ever say, and if they do, it's a first time mistake and it don't happen again, let me tell you. And that's, and I think Victoria brought that up before. That really sucks because then that helps the people that are making the fake pages and doing things like that. Because when somebody comes to me and says, no, I sent $10 here, I am just thinking they're being an a hole. You know what I mean? Because I, don't know what you know what I mean there's so many that do that you know but I just wanted to make it known that people do think that we're just scamming people when in reality it's the same people that send money all the time yeah maybe some new people pretty here, much but it's yeah. 99% that she has had since day one so, I don't know. I'm just wondering what the benefit would be, though, of going into lives acting like me and talking to people. I'm not understanding what the point of that one was. Well, didn't it she make a post saying that she, um, it's not her? Didn't she make a post saying, like, hey, I'm not Lisa? Blah, 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 or no. 
not on that account that she did it on. She on the other account. So it's a Lisa Richard Zero account that is no longer Lisa. So if you're getting messages from Lisa Richard Zero L Y S A Richard Zero, it's not Lisa. So if they're asking you for money and saying, "Hey, send it here," you're sending it to some girl named Andrea. I can't even get in it. I haven't been able to for about two weeks. So, I don't know. That was kind of off topic. Don't think we answered your question. Maybe we did, but... I'm sorry, what was the question? I, I, I was answering it with that somehow. I don't... Yeah, I know. It's okay. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Nope, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. So, scapegoat, it's your turn. Okay, um, I wanted to start off by saying, Kim, you are not a savior. Lisa is not a celebrity. We have heard you multiple times help her come up with lies and scams, like the fake screenshots to send to the drug dealers. Um, you were the one that told her to use her foot to come out and, you know, scam or whatever. So, I don't understand you sitting up here wanting some kind of notoriety if she goes to rehab. Um, you're hindering, you are hindering, you are hindering her opportunity because if I can remember right, there was a voice recording that you released where you two were talking about how much notoriety you would get if you, if she went to rehab because of you. There are millions, not only, I don't want to say millions, hundreds of people that would actually put her through rehab. 